Uh, this is Comedy Death Ray. My name's Scott Ackerman. I'm here with uh, a very special guest who dropped by my uh, lovely home this evening, Mr. Colin Hanks from Stage Screen. We've talked about stage, uh, the stages of New York and London. Yes. Oh, my. Where, what other stages uh, are there? The ones in Costa Mesa, Costa Mesa and Tustin. Yes, we've talked about Let's those. Let's not forget those. And uh, we're just going to have people dropping by all show long. Just, uh, you know, I mean, anyone who wants I put out a... Oh, heavens. Oh, my God. I didn't expect hey, that lovely, right now. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I don't have a whole lot of time. I'm who, busy baking cakes. Who dares? Who what? is it? Hey, Scott. So it's me, the cake boss. <laughs> Hey, buddy, uh, Valestro. That's right, the cake boss, Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh, my God. Merry, wow. Merry, what, Colin Hanks? What? Merry Christmas, Merry too. Christmas to you, I too, cake this boss. Is, this is like a dream team of uh, being on a podcast. <laughs> Wait, who's that there behind you there? What? Oh, there is someone. Is, uh, yeah. Whoa, that is a very musical and saucy knock. Cucurico! <gasps> Is that El Chupacabra I spy? I can't believe it! Yo soy El Chupacabra! Did you guys come together? Sí! No, why did you say you couldn't believe it? I can't believe we're friends! I'm such a fan! <laughs> I am truly honored to be considered a fan by you! Of course, Chupacabros! You're my favorite! Yo soy un hombre, un amigo de la jefe de la torta! That's a cake boss! In Spanish! In Spanish! <laughs> what brings you guys out here to Connecticut? Are you, are you just passing through, or did you come just for the show? Oh, we got lost! Yes! We were on our well, way to you. Kentucky! <laughs> That's right! We have, you know, we've been doing these live shows where I make a cake, and uh, then Jupal Capro, she uh, hosts it radio style. And I suck the blood out of a live goat! That's true, because he's the Chupacabros, the oh. ghost sucker. Yeah. Right, right. Is that, oh, so that's what that, uh, that, that means, that term. Yeah, Chupa, Chupa means to suck. That's right. Cabra means goat. So you put them together. Cake boss! That's right, cake boss! <laughs> That's wow! I've, well, I'm learning. I've no. le I didn't know the uh, podcast could be for learning. See, have, uh, you, have you been to the offices where Cake Boss bosses cakes around? Those cakes sometimes they're lazy, <laughs> and I gotta really crack the whip. I was under the impression that you made the cakes, and then when they were done, you released them to the oh, public. Scott Oxman, I make the cakes, and then I try to get them to do stuff, and they're gold breaking all the time. And it's like scripture says, "Oh, I'll shop on that serpent's tooth to have an ungrateful child." I don't understand the words you just said. I don't either. Colin, have you ever met these gentlemen before? Uh. Nope. We were vis we were recently voted the two loudest people on podcasts. That's right. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, I think that is uh, that is a, a, a title that is well deserved. The award they give you is a gold plated megaphone. Yeah. <laughs> seems like you wouldn't need that. It seems like they would give you a gold plated something to quiet you down, like a muffler. A gold plated megaphone. What? They like it loud. <laughs> They like it even louder, That's though? That's right. That's why they give the award. Are they like Kiss? They like it loud? Oh, Kiss, I would love to make a cake for them. Oh, really? What make would that a, cake be? I would make a makeup cake. <laughs> just uh, just uh, a cake in the shape of uh, eyeliner and, yeah, and makeup Yeah, it would just look like tubes. makeup, yeah. Or a big pile of Jewish money. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that's uh, they've got different uh, FCC standards down <laughs> on, on podcasts. You, well, yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah, you can say Jewish on a podcast. You can yeah. say Jewish in any respectable way that you want to say it, or irrespectable. <laughs> You're a real rascal, Jubal Cabros. Ah, uh, my favorite little rascal was the dog. Petey. <laughs> it was that was a good one? The dog, yeah. One In, time, I made a, I made a peanut cake for Carl Alfalfa Schweitzer's granddaughter's <laughs> birthday one time. And what happened? Well, I, I used real paint in it, <laughs> and everybody got kind of sick. But boy, that cake was beautiful. Yeah. That joke was on them. That's right. It was like so bad at the little rascals. <laughs> no. Can I ask you a question? Oh, please comment? do, Chuba. It's always a pleasure to see you, so, uh... What are your plans for the holiday season? Well, uh, I'm just gonna... Let me translate. He said, what are your plans <laughs> for the holiday season? Oh, thank you, Cake. But can you tell Chupa that uh, I'm just gonna be sitting around the house, I'm gonna clean out the uh, uh -huh. rain gutters a little bit. Okay. And... Were you mad at him? Why, why are you telling me to oh, I talk thought to you, him? I thought you could translate. Uh... Oh, while we're at that, why don't we put a piece of tape down in your house to separate the rooms so that I cannot go on your side of the room like a sitcom? Uh, this ain't the Laverne and Squiggy. <laughs> 
We were talking before the show, not you and I, but no. uh, how great it would be to, instead of Lenny and Squiggy walking into a room, people walking in on them. What type of conversations would you hear? Like, they say something crazy, and then everybody walks in there. Like, yes. usually what happens is uh, the people are having normal conversation. They say something that alludes to somebody like what kind unpleasant. of an Like, what kind of an idiot would go out there in the pouring rain? That's right. That's from episode hear, 302 from the third season. Then you hear, hello, Laverne. El jefe that. de tortas is a great student of the history. Television. It's true. So the reverse would be... What happened on episode six of Good Times? <laughs> <laughs> that was the one where uh, Jimmy J.J. Walker played the character of J.J. He, he gets a uh, job to paint a mural for, this, for the neighborhood playground. And uh, what happened? Well, the, uh, the, he turned it down because they want him to sell out and paint all white people. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is this just screams Christmas to me. <laughs> Dino Mata! Merry Christmas! What, what are your Christmas plans, can I ask? Uh, oh, well, we will be sojourning to Kentucky. True. <laughs> uh, and when we reach the beautiful state of Kentucky, we will go to a college basketball game first and foremostly. The, uh, the, the Wildcats. The Wildcats. And I will suck the blood out of one of the, uh, you know, one of the animals there. Yeah, they're going to raffle off some animals. The, the Chupacabros is going to suck the blood out of it. And then I will store it in one of my four stomachs. And then I'm going to mix it into a special basketball cake. Exactly. Blood cake. <laughs> it's going to be a basketball cake filled with blood that you can actually play basketball with or give somebody a transfusion if they get sick. Torta de sangre. That means blood cake. Will that be a Christmas Eve cake or a Christmas Day cake? Both. It's versatile. <laughs> it definitely falls into the Christmas spirit, the, wow. the giving, and the. And That's the, right, yeah. Colin Hanks. Are you donating the cake, or did someone? No, like? it's going to be very expensive. Yeah, yes. that doesn't really fit into that seasonal. We are, we're we're taking it to all uh, sorts of uh, orphanages. Yes, John Calipari, the coach of the Kentucky Wildcats, will pay good money for it. <laughs> That guy's loaded. He's very loaded. You can tell by how he slicks his hair back. He uh, looks like a real millionaire with all that uh, greasy kid stuff in his hair. Can I ask you a question? Uh, who are you addressing right now? That doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, by all means. Okay, okay, yeah. Has anyone ever seen Pat Riley and Michael Douglas in the same room at the same time? <laughs> are you talking about original Wall Street era Michael Douglas? Yeah. That money never sleeps, Michael Douglas. No, you know what? Not cancer-filled Michael Douglas. No, no, it's difficult for money to sleep. Was he filled with 